Hi guys, how are you? Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do bridal makeup for Asian women. Since usually um, bridal makeup takes quite a bit of time, so I'm gonna speed everything up and I'm just gonna talk you through the whole process and I'm just gonna um, tell you what kind of products that I use. I hope you will enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. This is my bride, Amy. This is her before her makeup and this is her finished look. I start by using Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel for combination oily to oily skin. I always use this um, moisturizer for brides because I don't want uh, them to have um, oily skin during the day. And then I use Makeup Forever HD Foundation. It's a medium coverage foundation. It's a very natural looking foundation it gives enough coverage yet it's still very natural looking I use a um, buffing brush uh, you know like a stippling brush to um, apply foundation I like it this way because it gives that very airbrushed look and also very natural starting from the center of the face blend it out also down the neck as well and then I use eye primer from MAC paint pot uh, I just used the one that matches her skin tone. I'm not sure which one that I used for her. So, and then I use MAC eyeshadow in brulee because it matches her skin tone. It's just a base, so it's going to be easier to um, blend the eyeshadow later. I use the brown kit from Benefit Cosmetics. The color is the medium color. I really like this. Uh, brow kit it's very convenient you have wax and then the powder it gives you that control and it's it's pretty it's very precise it's it's very easy to use and the color is very beautiful as well so I just just fill in the brows just give it a little more shape And then I continue with a MAC eyeshadow in mulch. Just apply it on the eyelid, along the eyelash. And then just use a blending brush to blend the edge to give that natural look. And then on the other side, Just blend, blend, blend. I continue with um, MAC eyeshadow in soft brown, just along uh, on the edge, um, you know, of the first color in the mulch that we uh, applied before, just to um, have that um, more blended look and it's also create um, like a more definition you know in, in her crease as well just blend it from the outer corner of the eyes and then blend it towards her brows then I continue with um, Inglot pigment uh, this one is number 49 it's called it's like um, it's the similar color as night divine from Mac and but I like this one better because it it is a little bit more shimmery and it's it has a much softer look um, and it's it's much more suitable for um, bridal makeup in my opinion anyway so I just apply it on the outer corner of the eyes just around like um, you know like half way in and then just use a blending brush to blend it and then just bring it up towards the crease just a little bit so just blend it out and then up just a little bit and then just here I apply just a little bit more you know slowly 
but surely just apply it and blend, apply it and blend. Then I also use um, a pigment from Inglot as well. This one is number um, 79. It is like a peachy, orangey um, tone pigment. It just, but when you apply and blend it out, you, you don't really see that color, but you have that um, effect of, you know, like this, like this more light to the, to the eyes and it just brightens the whole look up and it's 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 I think that this color sort of bring like more of, like it's it's very fresh you know and then I continue with um, eyeliner pencil from NYX the color is 901 black well you can use any black eyeliner actually um, I like using a pencil liner for brides because it's more natural and I just use a flat brush. You can use angle brush as well just to blend um, the pencil that you apply earlier together and then I also wing it out just a little bit and then I use a fluffy brush the one that I use to blend that um, black or gray pigment to give that smoky look and it's much much more natural and then I continue with um, eye cool pencil from MAC in Teddy and um, to give more warmth to the eyes so I just apply that from the outer corner of the eyes just like three quarter um, way in and use a brush to blend it out so that you have the uh, more natural look. So just just blend especially on the outer corners of both eyes just um, make sure that you blend it really really well and then I just use um, a black eyeshadow with a flat brush you can use angle brush as well just the co outer corner of the eyes maybe like just um, halfway in or you can do three-quarter way in also and but the one the black color that I used was carbon from Mac and then I use the color fluff I think it's P H L O O F it's a Mac eyeshadow just the inside corner of the eyes top and bottom and then curl the lashes apply the mascara the mascara that I use is from MAC as well, MAC Pro Long Lash. I really like this mascara. It's just, it gives that volume and control. It gives, keep, it gives you that curl. It's, it's very nice. And also, actually it's not on here. I also use Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because it's waterproof, you know, usually brights cry on the wedding day so I, I just use that um, for her bottom lash it's a small 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 mascara wand it's very convenient and then I just apply um, fault lashes on both eyes using tweezers it helps so much it's so much easier using tweezers to apply lashes well some people prefer using fingers your hands but well I use both actually <laughs> and then here I just apply um, this is not concealer it's actually also um, foundation but this is like one or two shades lighter than her skin just to give her um, more light under the 
her eyes uh, above the cheekbones, just the high point, and then also on top of the nose, and then on the forehead. On top of the upper lips, and then on the chin as well. Just make sure you blend it really well. And then I just apply a powder very, 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 very lightly. I use MAC Studio Fix um, in NW20. This is actually a little bit lighter for um, her skin, but I just use it on the area where I just put the um, lighter foundation. And then I just use uh, Max Studio Fix in C4 for the rest of her face. And then I continue with uh, MAC Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden to contour her face. Just right under her cheekbone. So it's like in the middle of your ear, straight across to the tip of your nose. So I just make sure that both sides apply and then I just contour the back of the f head as well just down the chin a little bit and then I just blend 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 everything out just to make everything look super super natural I, I usually blend, blend it up towards the cheekbones and then there it, that's the um, blush from benefit cosmetic it's this one is hervana i love this blush color it's so beautiful and then i used um mac uh, soft brown to contour her nose so just to give a little bit more definitions because um this is the day that she gets um, taking pictures um, a lot so give that um, more definition on, on her um, nose it's gonna help with the pictures a lot and then for her lips I use um, lip liner pencil from NYX at the color 817 hot red it's actually quite bright, but this is just a base. I really um the, because we want um the um, the lip color to last like pretty much all day, so I just use stronger um lip liner color, and then I'm just gonna apply it all over her lips as a base, and then I'm just gonna use um lighter lip color to blend it down to tone it down it actually looks pretty good on her but yeah I blend it down a little bit I use MAC kissable lip color in so vain just blend it down so you see now that it becomes so much more natural softer more bridal and then just use a lip brush to blend everything together and then just to finish that look I use MAC Luster Gloss in Wonderstruck and there you go that's the finished look guys I hope you like it and then I just use um, one inch curling iron to curl her hair you know very simple but elegant hair um, you, you you see the finished look in a little bit So there you go guys, hope you like it, see you next time!